Now, I'd like to introduce fourth speaker, Anna Chue Kim. Already knew, already knew, Anna Chue Kim. I saw a butterfly, a yellow butterfly. It was an extraordinary butterfly in my ordinary life. Mr. Contest Chair and my dear caterpillar friends cocooning at home. Today, I want to talk about a butterfly. The story begins with a little caterpillar hatching from an egg. The little caterpillar stuffs itself with leaves growing bigger and bigger. One day, he stops eating, hangs upside down, spins himself a silky cocoon. Wait a minute. Is he doing self-quarantining? We all know the feelings, right? Loneliness, depression, and frustration of self-quarantine. Poor little fella. But during cocooning, our little caterpillar radically transforms his body, eventually emerging as an extraordinary butterfly. My question here is, how does a caterpillar survive through a cocooning and turn into a butterfly? I'm not a butterfly expert, but about cocooning, I have something to tell you because I've been there before. Story begins with my heart disease. Somehow, my heartbeats became very irregular. I collapsed and I gasped whenever I walked. As my doctor recommended, I started a cocooning at home. Listening to my irregular heartbeats, I felt guilty for not taking good care of myself. Self blame, anger, anxiety, and sadness filled my cocoon. One month became two months, two months became six months, when six months became a full year. Fear woke me up. Fear that I could literally die in my cocoon. Not because of my heart disease, but because of my dis-ease in my mind. I had to do something. To survive, I struggled. Others couldn't see it, but I still remember how I struggled. One more squat. One more bent knee push up. <sighs> and one more positive thought. After a long, tedious, and lonely battle in my cocoon, something ticklish sprouted in me. Tiny wings. Wings of courage, greed, and hope. With courage, I embraced who I was. No more crying, no more pity party. With greed, I trained myself and I could try out five kilometers, which is 3.1 miles obstacle races called Spartan Race. And with hope, I began to dream new dreams, ones I thought impossible with my fragile heart. Traveling seven countries in Europe for a month and going on a business trip to Pakistan and visiting theme park in Abu Dhabi, and all these dreams came true last year. 
with these tiny wings that I could find in my cocoon, I am not fragile anymore. As a cocoon survivor, I can tell you this. My cocooning was an opportunity for me that I can find something that I have already in me. The wings, wings of courage, greed, and hope. Mr. Contest Chair and my dear caterpillar friends, when you feel you are trapped in a cocoon, don't let your cocoon become a coffin. Instead, struggle to embrace endless hope instead of hopeless air. Fight your own battle to stand in hope, not to stay in despair. The struggle that you made, the sorrow that you swallowed, are not meaningless. Those will help you find the wings that you have already in you. There is an expression, I have butterflies in my stomach. When you face challenges, the butterflies already in you are cheering you with wings, wings of courage, greed, and hope. My dear caterpillar, this time next year, I hope to see a butterfly. By this time next year, I hope to see many butterflies. Mr. Contest Chair.